Today we are having a date night in an all-you-can-eat Japanese restaurant called Mr. Boo in the suburb of Bulemba. Lotus chips, takoyaki, curry, you can get some calamari, the, can the canopy platter, some sushi and stuff, yaki, chicken katsu. It's a very small space actually, there's not many tables. The suburb is notorious for being in the top 10 more expensive clusters of suburbs of Brisbane and we will walk a little around Bulimba after dinner. But first, let's eat. The venue is smaller than conventional restaurants but with a good ambient light, making it cozy. We are seated at the bar next to the sushi train which is pretty convenient but if you get seated in the main tables you have to get up to get the food which in a crowded and small restaurant can be a challenge. This all-you-can-eat allows you to order from a selected menu as well as take as many dishes from the sushi train as you want. The really good orders are the ones from the menu since the sushi train has too many rice options. And we all know that the value is in the other things like the salmon. Perfect. No time to film. Only time to eat. I'm gonna chuck this to you. Thank you. That's for you. Did you want cheese stick on oh. oh, thank you. Nice, thank you. Look at that. Well, these things are good. Yeah. That's the salmon. One of this is the crab salad. I because that's crab stick, so I guess it's the crab salad, the lobster salad, and the pork ball. Meatballs, Japanese meatballs. Eggplant tempura. I think it's gonna be delicious. Mm -hmm. So it's, a, it's crunchy and it's stuffed with matcha ice cream. Oh. Yeah. So it's like a pastry with ice cream stuffing. It looks yummy actually. Nice. Don't hate on it, try it. You try it. It's good. So yeah, it's not bad. It's not too heavy. That's so cute. We are almost at the end of our meal. We've had... Honestly, we didn't have that much food. I think you would consider it as a lot. I consider it as like... Pretty mediocre amount of... Like, we, we didn't actually take that much food, I think. My past self would be a bit disappointed that I ate so little. <laughs> Instead, we ate lots of ice cream, <laughs> which is another shameful thing. <laughs> but no, the food was really good. Um, the service was very fast as well. Um, um, yeah, like, like uh, all of the, the dishes were very well prepared, I think. Um, although I did wish that we could just order sashimi alone, but I think they, they intentionally put it on like full plate. So that you cannot, so that you, you eat more rice, so you get full and you don't waste because we recommend you order the right amount of food <laughs> and you don't waste food as well. So, yeah, but otherwise, the food was really, really good. I, I really can't complain. Um, and the, 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 the service was really nice. So, yeah, we're still going through our edamame. We'll, we aim to finish it or not. <laughs> but we're waiting on another another uh, chocolate ice cream. Yeah, I really liked it. It was super good. I think it's probably like one of the best Japanese experiences I had here in Australia, particularly in Brisbane. Um, and yeah, this this strawberry is like super good, the uh, strawberry ice cream. And I think the chocolate is arriving. It's gonna come now. Maybe not, maybe not, maybe not for us. Oh yeah, it is. Thank you. Yeah, super good. I'm fairly sure it's just Peter's ice cream. Like it's super yummy. Um, and yeah, I think this was a good experience. How much was it per person? 40. 40? 39 90. 39 per person. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. I mean, compared to the high tea, it's so really good. Oh, wait, this is way better. Yeah, this is way better than the high tea. Yeah, yeah. it was just very cool. Too. And I think it's fun because they had, they, they, they could claim that it was. Um, uh, all you can drink or something like all barista and tea, coffee and tea 
whatever. Yeah, but that's like not that interesting. How much how much coffee can you have? Yeah. Yeah, this one is better. You just get like ready, like a like it makes you want to run to the Go toilet. Go to the toilet, yeah. <laughs> this is a cloud, but it looks like a fire. Because it's the sunset and it has this strange shape that it looks like it's smoking from there. And what else is smoking? Smoking hot. My girlfriend. <laughs> Wow, look, all the constructions. There's probably going to be a lot more apartment buildings going up there. Yep. You know what this means? Hamilton is not a good place to buy. All new buildings coming up. This is a really nice suburb to visit for a date, and you can easily find free parking close to the waterfront. I'm camouflaging. <laughs> Time to go back home and plan for another date.